Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today uh, we're going to take a little look at how to use performance calculators uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and how to get our zero fuel weight central gravity and a few other things linked to the uh, MCDU. Uh, a couple of people on the channel requested it uh, so here we go for a little tutorial. If you are new to the channel then please consider clicking the subscribe button down below and head to our discord server where you can uh, suggest content that you'd like to see if there's specific tutorials or anything you'd like to uh, for me to cover you can let me know there and I'll get to work so uh, we're at Manchester Airport uh, the payware version for Maco simulations and we are sat ready to go for a flight programmed at least for Manchester to Paris Chaux de Gaulle um, short flight but we need to look at our takeoff performance our weight fuel um, central gravity and all this sort of stuff so how do we go about using all of that well initially let's jump into the flight deck and we can see there we've got our init A page complete along with a load of other stuff um, ignore the flight number for now but if we go to the init B page we've got a zero fuel weight, zero fuel weight central gravity and our block fuel blank at the moment if it's a particularly long taxi you can go ahead and put like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 that's roughly how many kilograms uh, or how many um, hundred kilograms you're going to use for taxi so 0 0.2 references 200 kilograms because it would be 0 0.2 tons of fuel for taxi the quickest way to get your 0 fuel weight centre of gravity is uh, to get all your payload and everything ready to go generated and you can see there that centre of gravity with fuel on board is 21.74% Mach we can drop this down to 32 or whatever it will tell it'll be told shortly anyway uh, we've got our payload and everything ready to go and you can see at the bottom here empty weight 41,005 kilograms fuel at 0% payload 9,194 kilograms and our total 50.2 so that is our zero fuel weight with all our payload and everything in 50.2 tons and our zero fuel weight center of gravity is at the very top of your screen here. It says center of gravity 21.15. Now, I've seen a, a few people ask, how do I get this? Well, if your fuel menu looks like that, which everybody does initially, you go ahead and drag it outwards to the side until you see the plane up here. And there you go, you get all that data for you. So 21.15 and 50.2. So we enter our zero fuel weight first, 50.2 tons, slash our zero fuel weight center of gravity at 21.15% into the scratch pad, and we go ahead and enter it by pressing that button there. And thanks to the A32NX project, we can go into fuel planning now. So we've got all of our routes and everything ready here, including our departure route and everything else. So what we can do is uh, on the init. B page we can go ahead and click fuel planning and that will tell us that for our route in question we need 3.2 tons of fuel so what we can do is just go ahead and edit that to 3.2 or near enough close so we've got 3.4 on board so we can go ahead and type 3.4 and enter that in manually and you'll see that that confirm bit disappears our takeoff weight gets amended and the calculation gets input as well. You have to give it a couple of seconds. Uh, and then on our fuel prediction page, we're all golden there as well. You can see the data input. Of course, if we have an alternate airport set, that would go in there. So uh, in it A, we could go LFPO for a diversion, Parasoli. Enter that in and on the fuel prediction page there, pretty much ne next to each other anyway, uh, you can see there we shouldn't be burning too much more fuel. So that's how you get your zero fuel weight and your zero fuel weight center of gravity and your block fuel. Your block fuel is that figure there and your zero fuel weight is of course your gross weight which is your total weight of the aircraft including payload minus 
the fuel on board. So, how do we now use a takeoff performance calculator? I use this uh, wabpro.cz slash a320. It's not for the NEO itself, but it gives uh, good enough values of data at the moment. And you can see we've got lots of different fields. There's a way to balance tab that we could go ahead and put into as well. So, for example, a uh, call sign or the flight number of the aircraft and EGCC. You could put in a registration there if you want to and a crew, two pilots, four cabin crew config, bag demand cargo, we can fill out all of this data block fuel, we can put in, it's in kilos, so 3340 and our trip fuel uh, we can just put um, about 2800 roughly trip fuel is going to be how much you're going to need for the journey you can, done, you can, you can find that out uh, by going onto your fuel prediction page and just take away 0 0.9 as an estimation uh, from the fuel on board. So 0 0.9 would be 900, you could just deduct 900 from that. Uh, you can go ahead and click random load uh, where we hit in it and then you get a load of data. It's more for the A320, uh, not the NEO, so I tend to use the data in the flight sim fuel tab itself, but you can use this. Um, but on the takeoff page, that's the one I always use. Origin, EGCC, then you click METAR, and it will load in the METAR, so you can see outside air temperatures 2 degrees, QNH 9 and 7 8. Wind direction 304, and you've got airfield elevation and things there. For particularly short runways like Skiathos, for example, you could use either flaps 2 or flaps 3. Um, and you need to say whether you're going to have air conditioning packs on, anti-ice uh, on all or en engines or off, and whether the runway is dry or wet. So it's wet runway, we're going to use, um, say for example it's all anti-ice, and our real takeoff weight in kilograms. Fifty-three four hundred, and our full fuel weight zero. Of, um, our centre of gravity for us with fuel load was twenty-one point nine eight. We get that from your fuel tab. Twenty-two. You can see that stab terrain is plus one point four up. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, what runway are we going to use today? Manchester two three right. If you're going to depart from an intersection, you might be told Mike or hotel. Uh, if it's Mike, for example, you'd select Mike for your taxi, and you've got uh, heading and tour and things. And we've got flex, V1, speeds, uh, and so on available for us. What you do is you hit calculate, and it will then give us a flex temp of 54, take off uh, V speeds 123, V1, rotate V uh, 132, and our V2 of 133. So let's go ahead and put that in the aircraft. So back to the MCDU, we want to go onto our performance page now. And uh, we know we're going to use flaps 1 for this departure. If it was flaps 2 or 3, we'd put that uh, whatever is correct into that field and enter it. And our flex 2 from our takeoff performance calculator was 54 degrees. So we go ahead and enter that. And then we go ahead and cycle our V speeds. These will be slightly different because it's a NEO. And there we go. That is our init B page, zero fuel weight data input, and our V speeds uh, flex 2 temp calculated. There are multiple takeoff performance calculators out there. One thing I will say is uh, don't worry about the takeoff speeds or anything too much because it is for this standard uh, A320, not the NEO itself uh, currently. So uh, what I like to do is put in our takeoff uh, weight, metar data, 
make sure you get your flaps, packs, anti-ice and runway bits set up correctly. Make sure you pull your metar and then make sure you input the correct runway and if you're going to use an intersection, use the correct intersection. This second field here, you can choose a second option. So you could have the full length and it will calculate a, uh, a different set of data for you there. Uh, but ultimately, um, you just really need to put in the basic information on the takeoff tab for this and hit calculate and you'll generate your V speeds. And uh, there we go. So I hope you guys have found it particularly useful. Let me know how you get on if you've got a different performance calculator that you like to use. Uh, I know some people use a, a program instead of uh, this uh, HTML page. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to click that subscribe button down below and check out all of my other tutorials on the channel. Uh, especially if you're looking to get started on VATSIM. I've got a, a whole mini series uh, available to try and help get people started on the network. But as always, I hope to see you in a live stream in the very near future. Thanks for watching.